All right, so here's our video of the reflection experiment going through the whole procedure and what we're going to be doing. So the stuff you'll need, and people may want to use this either if they are um, without supplies, so they actually have to just watch this for the data, or if you're doing the experiment, well, then you can kind of see the procedure looking at the video as well. So you'll start out with a blank piece of paper. We're going to start off by drawing the normal. So remember that the normal is perpendicular or a 90 degree angle to the mirror. We're gonna actually put the mirror on the edge of this paper. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna actually find the midway point of the paper. I'm gonna measure it just cause I'm like that, but you don't have to measure it if you don't want to. You could just estimate, it really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put it right here which is five and a half inches down. Normal paper is 11 inches. So five and a half would be midway. I'm now gonna take my protractor and I'm gonna line it up with the edge of the paper so that the line, the bottom here, is lining up with the edge. And then I'm going to mark the 90 degree angle and you'll notice the mark I made is now perfectly at 90 degrees. So I'll just mark it right there. And now I'll take my piece of my ruler and I'll just kind of draw across so I have my normal. I can actually just, I could have done this instead. I'm just gonna check and make sure that that is five and a half from there as well, and it is. So we're good. That is perfectly 90 degrees, okay, from the edge. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to be drawing our different angles. So we're going to be doing a 30 degree angle from the normal, a, a 45 degree angle, and a 70 degree angle. So I'm first going to again line this up so that the base line here is lined up with the edge of the paper, and I have my normal at 90 degrees. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 30 degrees and I'm actually gonna go in this direction because it will be easier for me later on. Now nah, this direction will be easier. I'm gonna go 30 degrees, so here's 10, 20, 30. So let's do that one in blue. So 30 degrees would be right there. Then I need 45 degrees, so 45 is right here. And then finally I need 70 degrees, which would be right here. Just a reminder that this is 70 degrees from the normal not from the edge. So 30 degrees from the normal, 45 degrees from the normal, and then 70 degrees from the normal. Now that I've done that, I'm going to connect where my normal intersects with the edge to the markings I've made. So here's my 70 degree marking. I'm just gonna write right here, 70 degrees, so I remember. This is my 45 degree angle. And here's my 30 degree angle. And each one I'm using a different color to mark it. After I've done that, it's probably not a bad idea just to actually, again, use our protractor and just make sure that it matches up where it should. There's our 30, there's our 45, and here's our 70. It's just about perfect. Looks really good for those. Hopefully you can see that as well. All right, so now we are ready to turn off the lights and to start doing our actual ray box experiment. The last step of what we need to do is we need to position the mirror. So I'm just gonna actually move this over a tad. I've got a box here that I'm using to set my mirror against. I have my mirror right here. And so I'm just gonna place the mirror so it is up against the box and it is right kind of where the normal is. Um, and I have to make sure that the edge of the paper is perfectly aligning with the surface of that mirror. All right, I'm good to go. I'm gonna turn off the lights and return with my ray box and flashlight.
Okay, so here we are with our flashlight going through our ray box, our homemade ray box. So what I'm doing, and I hope you can see this, I think it's showing up okay on the video, is I'm lining it up with the first 30 degree angle, right so that ray is in the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark, I'm just going to use the pencil for now, the center of the ray as it reflects off. So here's my reflected ray, and that right there is the center of my reflected ray. Okay, and I'll just double check that it's good. Looks okay. Now I'll go to the next ray, the 45 degree one. Sorry, I'm just dealing with not having three hands. Okay, and now I've got that. I'm gonna mark the center of my 45 degree ray. Finally, I'm gonna to go to my 70 degrees, and I'm gonna mark the center of my reflected ray from the 70 degrees, making sure I have it right in the center, right there. Looks pretty good. So that's reflecting off. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the lights. So light is on. So my first marking, and I'm gonna use the blue for this. I don't need the mirror anymore, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. So my blue line, which was the 30 degree incident ray, goes to here. That marking like that. Now I've got green going to my 45 degrees. So 45 degree incident ray. And here's my reflected ray. And then finally orange for my 70 degree incident ray. And there's my reflected ray. Okay, I'm all set. Now I can measure the actual angles for this. So I'm gonna line that up. You can pause the video and hopefully take a look at these angles. I'm also gonna take a better picture and then hopefully you can get it from there if I zoom in. But I think right about there is perfect on the edge. So now hopefully you can read from that the angles and fill out the data for your observations.